Yes, well, Boris Johnson and Priti Patel are clamping down on middle-class drug users. They're coming up with new ways to clamp down on people who use recreational drugs, or indeed lifestyle drugs, as they're being called, like cocaine, for example. Some of these new measures include encouraging anyone caught with an illegal substance to go on a drug awareness course, and, if they refuse, they may have their lives interfered with. Hmm. So they might have their passports taken off them, or their driving licences. This is on top of the fact that just simply by getting caught with an illegal substance and getting a criminal record, they might not be able to find another job or travel to countries like America and Australia. Apparently, Priti Patel is also considering creating a system that, whenever the phone of a drug dealer is confiscated, every single number saved in that phone gets a message from the police. It goes without saying that people shouldn't do drugs. They are illegal at the end of the day, and they have the potential to do massive harm to the lives of those people who take them, and indeed the lives of those around them, family members, etc., or even the victims of people in car crashes where the person behind the wheel was high. But this is absolutely ludicrous, in my take anyway, from the government. Our Home Secretary had this to say about recreational drug users. Their actions are directly leading to an increase in violent crime and people dying, but they pay no price. That will change. But what about slashing police numbers by tens of thousands and barely replacing them? What about preoccupying the police with draconian lockdown laws instead of instructing them to clamp down on knife, gun and other forms of violent crime? What about the destruction of child protection services so children who are flagged up as being vulnerable to gang crime simply aren't looked after? Boris Johnson said that middle-class drug users will now have nowhere to hide. Well, I think there's a potential anyway that they do have somewhere to hide. Parliament. Sniffer dogs may be deployed in Parliament now because drug use is allegedly rife. According to reports, traces of cocaine were found in 11 bathrooms on the parliamentary estate. These included bathrooms close to the private offices of both Boris Johnson and Priti Patel. Many of the bathrooms tested were only accessible to people who hold a parliamentary pass. There are around 19,000 pass holders, apparently, but most have not been coming in due to the COVID pandemic. And now people are coming forward to reveal what they call, anyway, a cocaine culture in Parliament. One person said, I've seen an MP openly snorting cocaine at a party. One said as well that FOI requests have previously revealed that two drug dealers were arrested and apparently 13 people were detained for drugs possession on or around the estate last year. So here we go again. Is it a do as I say, not as I do from our ruling class? We have had it, haven't we, with the coronavirus hypocrisy. There are still rumblings that there may have been Christmas bashes in Downing Street whilst we were all kept apart from our families. I think most people would rather the heads of criminal drug gangs and the violent thugs they send out onto the streets to do their bidding were arrested and charged, not someone called Paul, who maybe dabbles once or twice a year at a party, who has his life ruined by a new policy, potentially dreamt up in a building where there are strong allegations that drug use is absolutely rife.